Hey, so today, as you may know, the Sony a7C just got announced. So should you buy the Sony a7C or the Sony a6600? Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and uh, you know my channel is way too small. Me and you both know that my channel is way too small to pass up any opportunity that comes its way. So let's talk about the Sony a7C. What is it? Whether or not you should be buying it. So essentially, the Sony a7C is the Sony a6400, but as full frame, or another way that you can look at it is it's the Sony a7 III, but in the APS-C body format. And I do say that it is the a6600 with a bigger sensor because it, it really is. Let's look at both of the specs. So they both have 24 megapixels. They both shoot 4208 bit. They both shoot 4K 30 frames per second. They're both still gonna have 1080p at 120 frames per second. They both have in-body image stabilization. They both use the same batteries. There's a micro microphone and a headphone jack on both. The only difference is the screen. So with a6600, the screen is going to pop up. And then with the a7C, the screen comes out to the side. That's essentially the differences. The a7C does have, you know, a little bit more things. So it has a higher ISO. It can go up to 204,000. And then it has a little bit more advanced like autofocus capabilities, but that's about it. I can see your confusion. Should you get the a7C? or the Sony a6600. What is the difference? And the difference is full frame and the price. So the Sony a7C is gonna come out at $1,800. And then the Sony a6600 comes out at $1,200. So you're paying that extra $600 to have full frame. Full frame, full frame. Full frame is great. There's a lot of benefits to full frame, like shallower depth of field. You get to see more with your lenses. There's no crop factor. Uh, you could see better in low light. There's benefits to full frame and that is what you're paying for. So, would I suggest that you pay that extra money for full frame? Well, yeah, if you have it in your budget, and we're gonna go over that because it, it goes deeper than just the extra $600. But if you have it in your budget to spend a little bit more, I would highly suggest spending a little bit more and getting the A7C. Get the full frame. Get all of the benefits of having a full frame camera in a smaller body, because that's basically all that it is. So if you do have the extra budget, I would suggest getting the Sony A7C. But there is that little extra budget. So you can get the Sony a6600 and a lens a really good lens, cheaper than just the body of the a7C. And the lenses are what is really the determining factor for me, at least, when looking at these two cameras, because you have to pay for full frame lenses. Full frame lenses are way more expensive than APS-C lenses. So the lenses that I like using with APS-C bodies are the Sigma lenses, and they are very, very affordable. You can get the set of all three of them for like $1,200 or so, and that gets you a 16 mil, 30, and a 56 mil, all f1.4. And they're very cheap. So let's go over the lens options with similar lenses and let's see the price differences between each two. So let's start off with APS-C. So the Sigma 16 mil 1.4 is around $400. The equivalent full frame comes from Sony. It's the 20 mil f1.8. It's this one right here. This is $900. Going back to APS-C, the Sigma 30 mil 1.4 is $300. The equivalent full frame lens is the 50 mil f1.8, which is $250. It is actually cheaper which is surprising, but it's also the nifty 50, so. And then the Sigma 56 mil 1.4 is $450. The full frame equivalent comes from Sony. Oh, I have it. It's right here. <laughs> this is the 85 millimeter F1.8 and this is $600. So you might be confused because the, the focal lengths aren't exactly the same and that's because of the crop factor. So the Sony a6600 has about a 1.5, 1.6 crop factor on it. So you have to multiply your focal length by about 1.5 to get the full frame equivalent. So that's why a 16 millimeter on APS-C is equal to about a 20, 24 millimeter on full frame. And that's why the 30 millimeter is about equivalent to a 50 millimeter on full frame. So uh, 
those are the cheapest options that I found if you want a 1.4. You can go a little bit cheaper if you go the 2.8 route with like Tamron and stuff like that, but generally full frame lenses are, uh, they're like twice the price at least of APS-C lenses. So your budget is really the determining factor between which of these two cameras you should get. The Sony a7C is going to be a better camera because it's full frame, but can, can you afford full frame lenses? That's the real question. Um, if you're on a strict budget, I would suggest getting the Sony a6600. It is basically the same camera, but you can get cheaper lenses and you're gonna get beautiful pictures. You might be able to get three lenses instead of just one. Well, if you go with the Sony a7C, you're gonna have to spend more on your lenses. So your budget's gonna have to be twice as big to account for the lenses. And that's about the real difference. So can you fit it in your budget? Can you not fit it in your budget? Either way, both of these cameras are gonna produce amazing quality images. Like they're beautiful. I use this camera all the time. Right now, what you're seeing is the Sony a6600. So this is what it looks like. Do you think it looks good? I think it looks pretty good, but that's about it. So which of these cameras should you get? If you can afford the full frame lenses, get the Sony a7C. If you're on a little bit more of a tight budget, get the Sony a6600. Both of them have image stabilization. They both use the same battery. So it's really up to your budget. Uh, I'm gonna link everything that I talked to in the description below. So if you wanna check those out, cool. If you get something, it helps the channel. So it's a win-win. That's about all that I have for you guys today. So if you like the video, be sure to subscribe for more Sony content. Cause I got these, I got these full frame lenses for a reason. If you end up liking the video, like the video, leave a comment about what you think about the Sony a7C in the comments below. And that's uh, about all I got. So, all right, all right.